let's have a lecture about web design. So you should understand what is web design. Then know the importance of designing websites. Understand the different characteristics of a good and bad web design. Then the last topic for today, you need to differentiate the different types of websites and know how to design them. Okay, so I know that you're already familiar with websites, right? So we already visited lots of websites. So when you open your browsers so like Google Chrome, um, ano pa, Opera Mini, yung default browser sa phone nyo, so you access different websites, right? When you type www.google.com, that's a website. So what is a web design? So that's a website. How about web design? So of course, web design is part of graphics design in multimedia, which is your subject to me. Part in po siya. Hindi lang yan yung drawing-drawing, hindi lang yan yung uh, mga poster-poster, pati websites, part in ng graphic design. Okay, what is a web design? So, web design, it creates the overall look and feel when you're using a website. So, yan yung design. Kapag nag-visit ka ng isang website, so ano yung overall look niya? Ano yung itsura niya? And ano yung experience mo habang binivisit mo yung website na yun? Part siya ng web design. This is the process of planning and building elements of your website. So, siyempre, kahit anong design, kahit product packaging design yan or flyer, kailangan mo gamitin yung iba't ibang elements, structure, and layout. This includes yung mga tinuro ko yung tamang paggamit ng colors, ng fonts, ng graphics. So, part siya ng pag-design ng website. Hindi basta-basta na, kunwari, papagawan ko kayo ng website. So, so i-judge ko yung gawa nyo. Depende sa design. Hindi yung basta-basta maglalagay lang kayo ng picture nyo, maglalagay lang kayo ng about yourself. How about the format of the design? Okay. Yung web design din, sabi ko kanina, yung design is the overall look and feel. When you say look, ibig sabihin ng look, itsura. Diba? Katulad ko, anong itsura mo? Anong itsura mo? Parang outer, outer um, appearance. How about the feel? So, what do you feel when you are with me? When you are accessing this website, what do you feel? So that is what we call um, interface design and user experience design. So itong mga topics na ito ay part ng web design, which includes graphic design, user experience or UX, tinuro ko yan sa inyo, user interface or UI, Search engine, optimization, or SEO, and content creation. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Kapag nagdi-design kayo ng website, kasi mahala nyo, someday you are working in okay, sa government agency. And of course, diba perks na meron kayong idea sa graphic design and IT. So, kailangan... Siyempre, part din kayo ng organization. Kung nga sa PNP, trying to visit their website. So you should know how to have a very good website for PNP. So, paano mo yun masasabi na maganda yung website na yun? You will base on the U UI or UX. Pag sinabing UI or interface, kung ano yung itsura niya? Kung nari dito, Gumamit siya ng gradient color. Is it pleasable to the eyes? How about the hierarchy ng font or ng text? Diba dito, malaki yung ready to learn the skills of the future. Then, hinighlight niya yung word na of the future. Then, sa baba dyan, may description and may 
button, naglagay din sila ng graphics dito, which is part of graphic design. Uh, it, it, it will include the images that you put on your website. So, yan nakikita yung color, yan na alignment, kung ilang columns pa yung ginamit, yan kung naka-center ba, kung naka-left align ba, naka-right align ba yung text, yung color ng buttons, part po siya ng user interface or UI na tinatawag natin. That is the experience on how you look at the website. Masakit ba siya sa mata? Maganda ba sa mata tingnan yung website mo? Hindi ba magulo? So, kailangan magaling kayo mag-design dyan. The next one is user experience or tinatawag natin na UX. Pag user experience, pag sinasa niya yung word na experience, it's how you experience the website. For example, you are logging in on an e-commerce website like uh, Shopee or Lazada. Then where are you going to find the login button? Is it sa top? Is it opening a menu sa left and nandun yung login? Or kapag finisit mo ba yung website na yun, nandun agad yung login? So, that's part of user experience. Yan yung flow ng process. So, saan ko ba makikita to? Pa naglogin ako, saan ba siya pupunta? Kung may error bang lalabas or wala? Maayos ba yung pasunod-sunod pa nag-order ako? Diretso ba mag-payment or magsaselect pa ako kung anong mode of payment? So, user experience yon. Dapat maayos yung pakakonstruct mo ng flow. Hindi, katulad dito. Kunwari yung meron na button na subscribe, then clinic ngayon ni user, hindi naman gumagana. Ano yung experience na, nangy na, 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 na nangyari sa'yo? Siyempre, yung experience mo, hindi maganda kasi gusto mo nga mag-subscribe, hindi nag-click. So, di ka na mag-subscribe. Sino pang gaganaan dyan? Hindi, hindi, hindi gumagana yung button. So, part siya ng user experience. Siyempre, dapat pa mag-design kayo, maayos yung design nyo. Okay, so these elements determine how a website looks, feels, and var and wait lang, wait lang class, wait. Okay, sorry for that. Let's go back. So, sabi ko dito, these elements determine how a website looks, feels, and works on various devices. When you say various devices, when you are designing, kunwari nag-design kayo sa computer nyo, syempre malaki yung screen nyo. But try to use other devices like phones, di ba? Smaller yung kanilang screen. Ano yung magiging itsura ng... Website na yun. Let's have an example of Shopee. Let's assess the website of Shopee if it is mobile-friendly. Okay? For example, um, I am the designer of Shopee. And I can see the menu here. <coughs> it's just me. And um, I'm gonna scroll down to see other information. So, yan yung ginawa ng designer. What if I make my screen smaller? Can I uh, still view all the products in a very good experience or flow? So, ano yung napansin nyo? Pina kanina, ganun yung kalaki yung screen, ganito. So, ang nangyari... Hindi to, ito, imbes pumunta ngayon dito sa baba para makita nyo isang maliit na screen. Hindi. So, kailangan mo pa dito pindutin to. Yan. ba Yung experience para sa akin, it's not very good. So, siguro yung designer ng Shopee, nag-focus sila more sa application kaysa sa website. So, para sa akin yung website, um, hindi maayos yung pakagawa. Tingnan nyo sa taas. Oh, siguro dapat mas maganda kung 
Katulad dito. Oh, katulad dito, kung mapapansin nyo itong protest website, kapag malaki yung screen niya, yan. Sandra. Yan. Pag malaki yung screen niya, lumalabas to na menu bar. Then, kapag pinaliit natin, uh, nami-minimize siya, tapos napupunta siya dito sa menu. Yan. Pero itong Shopee, ang nangyayari, pag malaki yung screen, nandito lahat. Then, kapag pinaliit ko, nakikipagsiksikan uli. <laughs> yung term, di ba? Pinagsisiksikan ang sarili. So, ang pangit tingnan, di ba? Pangit tingnan. So, pa this one line lang siya, naging two lines, like this. At ito pang login. So, tingnan mo, lag na, lag na lang. Kahit papunta ko po doon, di gumagalaw. Vlog. Ano ba yung inalag? Dapat login yan. Di ba? Pangit tingnan. Di katulad ng dito sa website. So, this is a good design. Okay. Then, another thing sa Shopee, kapag maliit yung screen sa website, oh, kailangan ko magpa-left right. Siyempre, pag tayo nag scroll sa phone natin, pababa, di ba? So, pag ganito yung pag-scroll natin. So, kailangan pa, kailangan pa natin ito pindutin sa baba. Yan. Para makita natin yung ibang products. Di ba ang pangit ang experience? So, yan yung tinatawag na user experience. Though, maganda sana yung color. For example, color team ng ng Shopee, yung look, but yung experience, hindi maganda. Okay, so yan yung uh, right way of designing websites. Kaya nga web design. Um, here. So, web design is different from web development. Magkaiba po yan. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga nagha-hire ng jobs, Kung you're, if you want to pursue web design, meron na web designer, meron na web developer. Ano pagkakaiba niya? So, iba po yung web designer sa web developer. Same as with UX designer. So, let's differentiate the three. Okay. Pag sinabi natin na web designer, so, you take your ideas and turn them into mock-up that shows what your future website will look like. So, ikaw yung, as a designer, ikaw yung naghahanda ng creative part of designing. So, more on creativity. You, you're the one who will choose the color, the alignment, the placement of buttons, uh, the shapes. So, yan yung ginagawa ng web designer. How about web developer? Yung web developer, sila yung tinatawag na engineers or coders. Sila mismo yung nagko-code ng website. So, tingnan natin tong example. If if you're not familiar with how web developers code websites, so, this is w3schools.com. This is a website wherein you can view different tutorials and in different, from different languages used in web design like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, programming like Python. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. I'm not requiring you to... Uh, memorize this or study this. It's up to you. If you want to learn HTML designing, you can do on your own. But I want to show you here. So this is an example of how web developers create website. So let's try it. We have here an editor, text editor, wherein this is the code, code yan. And if we run that, this is the output or ito yung makikita sa website. So, let's have, um, uh, this is, let's, this is, let's type, this is my website. Website. Then, yung paragraph, I am Mijel Larma. 
And in order to view this output, let's click Run. So, tingnan nyo, nagbago siya. This is my website. And I am Majel Bilarma. So, this is how developers con construct web sites using these codes. Yung iba naman, uh, pakita ko lang sa inyo. Kung gusto maglagay ng image or buttons. Ayan. Uh, madami yan. Background, color, margin, icons. Kung mapapansin nyo ito, ang mga color na yan. Mano-mano yan na kinocode. Ito, border images. Yan. So, ganyan na design. Backgrounds. Yan. Ito may background picture. So, let's have an example. Yan. So, ganyan. Kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng output na ganito sa website, meron na text and background color, meron din siyang box. Ganito yung code niya. O, tingnan nyo, simple lang yan na one page with simple text and graphics. Ganito na yung code. How come yung malalaking website like Facebook, thousands po yun or hundred thousands ng lines sa code? So, syempre ako, sanay na mag-code. Pa nagko-code ako, uh, madami, madami yan, thousands yan na lines. So, ganyan talaga. But of course, you're not BSIT, so you're not required to learn these things. What you're going to do to create basic website is to use existing web um, serv websites like, um, are you familiar with Wix? And dito sa Wix, you can create your own website. Yan, madami din dito. Um, may Udo. So, madami dyan. But we're, I think we're going to use GoDaddy sa project nyo. But it's up to you. Uh, here nga ya, you can create your own website. So, yung papagawin ko sa inyo, yung wala pa yung nabayad na domain, kasi, syempre, pagkagawa kayo ng website talaga, and may domain, may bayad yan. Yan. Ituturo ko naman yan sa inyo. Okay. So, yung UX, UX developer naman, ang ginagawa nila, sila yung nagdi-design ng website as user-friendly. They have technical skills and design skills and put them to work creating websites that attract visitor. So, si web designer, yung trabaho niya with user interface, yan, more on interface, how it looks. And sometimes, kasali na din. Yung iba kasing businesses, sa malalaking businesses, hinahati-hati nila. Meron na user interface designer, meron na web designer, meron na user experience designer. So, si UX, ang pinofocus niya lang yung pagiging user-friendly ng website. So, why is website important? Alam naman natin na importante siya, di ba? So, if e-business has a strong web presence, maganda yung kinakakalabasan niya sa success ng business. So, it embodies the brand. Let's have an example. You all know that Skechers, okay, is a very good quality shoes. Maganda yung kanyang designs. And siyempre dahil sa brand, kapag nakarinig kayo, nakakita kayo ng sapatos, may Skechers, ang wow, Skecher, di ba? So, that's my expectation on Skecher, actually. One time, I was looking for issues, and... Um, of course, sa uh, store ng Skechers sa uh, SM, hindi masyado kompleto. So, I want to look at online. Minisit ko tong Skechers.com.ph 
And I want to search specific shoes. Yan. Then, nung binisit ko siya, una kong hinanap, asan ba yung search dito? Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, let's compare Sketcher dito sa Protest. So, si Protest, um, ano din siya, it's an online shop with a collection of um, shoes, outfits for women, men, girls, and boys. Kung mapapansin mo, pag-visit ko dito sa Protest, eh, meron agad siyang search. Kasi, syempre sa experience, kapag mag-visit ka, bakit ka ba mag-visit ng isang website para mag-search or pwede mag-search ng isang product? Diba? So, maganda to na design. But dito naman si Sketcher, papahirapan pa ako ng website na ito. To be honest, um, I am expecting a lot from Sketcher Philippines. But after I visited their site, I was quite disappointed. To be honest. Disappointed ako. Sabi ko, asa ba dito yung search? Sabi ko, nandito yata to sa menu. That, dapat, dapat supposedly, nandito dapat sa taas yan. So, yan. And I was again disappointed. Why does this search at the bottom? Pag search, dapat nasa taas yan. Kung hindi mo ilalagay dito sa main homepage, nasa menu bar siya sa left, sa taas dapat yan. Hindi ba ang gulo-gulo? Dito madali lang. Madali lang, di ba? O, oh, search ka lang. Okay. Yan. Yan. And kinagandahan din dito kasi kapag pagkita mo dito ng menu, meron mismong nakasulat na menu. So, meron na user experience designer. So, paan? Siyempre, yung mga tao, di ba? Na hindi naman alam yung icon na ganyan. Siyempre, kailangan mo maglagay ng label na menu. Dito sa Sketcher, wala sila nang nilagay. Parang ganyan yung nabilog. Paano kung matanda ka na wala kang pag kaalam diyan sa mga icon na yan. Di mo alam kung asan yung search. Di mo alam kung ano to sa left. Yung dito, may nakalagay menu. Dito sa left. Sa sketcher, wala. Another minus points. E Nag-search ako. So, sabi ko, yung search ko is yun, trail running. Choose women. Okay, tama ba? yung spelling ko. Yan. Women. <laughs> Women yan. So, ito yung lumabas. Let's also search this shoes. Women. Tingnan natin yung experience pang nag-search ka. Okay. Um, good afternoon, ma'am said. Okay. So, yan. Um, walang lumabas dito. Sa, yan, may lumabas. Sa protest, yung lumabas, we found 2,585 products for shoes women. And same with Skechers. So, okay yung experience dito sa Skechers. Okay. So, another problem that I have seen in Skecher is the access of the menu bar. So, syempre, babae ako. So, ikiklik ko, women. Okay. So, lumabas lahat. Lumabas lahat. So, since madami to, yan, natabunan sa pinakababa yung ibang main menu. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click here. Sports. Um, active sport. Um, let's click sport. Yan. And there are no products in this category. And kung mapapansin nyo, wala kayong nakikitang back. So, dapat siguro, kung meron na there are no products in this category, naglagay yung UX designer, web designer, ng back dito. Kasi syempre, wala ka naman nahanap. Saan ka pupunta? So, though there are links above, other types of people don't know how this work sa taas. So, kailangan palaging may previous na button. So, yan yung hindi nilagay ng sketcher. Yan. Dito naman yung kinagandahan sa protest. Oh, tingnan, tingnan nyo. And kung mapapansin nyo sa protest, 
So, ganito yung menu niya sa taas. I am hovering my mouse under woman and I can see all other submenus. Hindi katulad kanina sa sketcher na kailangan mo pa mag-maximize, minimize ng menu para magpili ka. Dito, kapag women, women. Kapag men, men yung lalabas. Girls, boys, and toddlers. And you can see visibly here submenus. Diba? Maganda yung experience na binibigay nitong website sa user. Madali yung accessibility ng data. Example, sa women, meron na apparel, sub and surf, so outdoor clothing. So let's search for jackets. Yan. Ay na yung aking internet. So yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, um, yung categories nasa taas, you can select um, the size, the color, you can filter. So, di ba maganda yung experience niya? And makikita mo yung kung ilang products ba yung sa jacket. Yan. Quick view. So, let's um, click a jacket here. So, for example, ito. Ayan. Medyo mabaga yung response lang ng... Ayan. Meron kasing nilagay na animation. So, yan din yung downside ng isang website. Dapat uh, bawas-bawasan yung animation. Madaming animation. Kasi nakaka-apekto siya sa response time. So, ibig sabihin ng response time, once nag-access yung user, so matagal mag-loading. And another thing is, when you are creating a website, avoid putting high quality images na super laki ng size. You can have high quality images by compressing the image. Kung mapapansin nyo, di ba? Tagal mag-loading. Kasi yung high quality yung picture niya, but since hindi masyado fast yung internet ko, nakaka-apekto siya sa response time. Ayan. But overall, maganda yung quality nitong website. Kung mapapansin nyo, while I still hovering the pictures, hindi nawawala yung details dito. So, yan. Tingnan nyo. Ha? Okay. Yan. So, that is why web design is important. Because kahit anong ganda ng brand mo, kapag yung website mo hindi nagbibigay ng maayos na serbisyo sa mga user, nakaka-apekto talaga siya. Katulad na nangyari sa akin sa Sketcher, ay, ay, ako na bumili online. Yung feeling na nawalan ako ng gana, sabi ko na, na ako na nga yung web designer ako, pero ako pa yung nalilito sa website nila kasi hindi talaga maayos yung pakagawa ng website. Kaya umalis na ako sa Sketcher. Sabi ko, ay, ako na sa Sketcher yung bili. <laughs> so, nalipat na lang ako sa Columbia na brand. Ayan. Kaya importante yung web design. Kahit anong ganda ng brand mo, kung hindi maayos yung website mo, especially yan na online, mga e-commerce website, mawawalan ka ng customers. If you're planning to have a business someday, of course, you should have a web presence. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may mga, may mga, alam nyo ba yung kwento ng successful na 19-year-old businesswoman? So, ang ginawa niya, ano, mahilig siya mag-design-design ng, sa parang damit. Tapos, nag-design siya ng jacket ng kanyang boyfriend na tatlong jacket yon Then, pinost niya online. Tapos, nagulat siya kasi madaming friends niya yung nagustuhan yung design niya para kasing unique yung nilagay niya sa jacket. Tapos, nag-order. Naisipan niya, what if para maboost yung kanyang business, gumawa siya ng website. So, nagpatulong siya sa boyfriend niya na magaling gumawa ng website. Then, yung gumawa sila ng website, maganda yung experience ng mga users. And, doon niya pinost yung kanyang mga designs. And, after few weeks, few days, nag-boost yung kanyang business. Ang dami na nag-order. Pinalaki na yung business niya and matas na yung kanyang income per day. So, imagine, 
wala pa siyang maayos na product, konti pa lang, tapos nilagyan niya ng maayos na website, nag-boom yung kanyang business. Kaysa naman, nang ganda-ganda na ng business mo, tapos hindi maayos yung website mo, nakaka-minus points pa siya. ba? Diba? So, importante yung design ng website. How about, let's differentiate the good and bad web design. So, when you say good web design, so it's not subjective. With other types of designs like illustration or sticker designs, a lot of what constitutes good is up to the viewer's taste. Ayun yun yan. So, kapag gagawa ka ng simple designs like sa sticker or drawing, masasabi mo na maganda yung drawing mo. Depende yan sa viewer. Kunyari ako, mahilig sa ganito, o mabibet ko siya, o yung ganda. Tapos kapag hindi ako mahilig sa ganyan na illustration, hindi ko siya magagandahan. Iba siya sa web design. Masasabi mo maganda ang web design, not just, uh, we're not focusing on how it will look, on a viewer's taste, but how the user or the visitor will experience with that website. So, kapag maganda yung experience, wala siyang na-encounter na madaming issues or hindi nalilito kung saan napupunta yung visitor, so well-designed yung website mo. Pero pag ang gulo-gulo ng website mo, hindi na lang kung saan pupunta si user, so that's a bad design. So, let's have a short uh, example of website. Here is and this website. So, the NTDMIS is a website of DOH, Department of Health. Yan, tagal mag-loading. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yan yung website niya. Meron dito sa left yung login na supposedly dapat yung login na sa right. <laughs> I don't know how designer thinks about this. Minsan, di ba, yung mostly yung login na sa taas. Yan, login. Or minsan na sa right. Ganyan talaga yung design niya. Pero dito, ewan ko sa designer. So, meron na advisory. Tapos tingnan nyo yung design. Nal Naloloka ko sa design. O, tingnan mo yung advisory niya. Dapat yung advisory niya, nilagay niya dito sa taas or sa baba. Kasi, ang nangyari, ang haba-haba dito ng advisory. Tapos dito, sh yung card dito, hindi naman masyado mahaba. So, ito yung humahaba-haba. Sayang ng space dito. Wala ng space. So, di ba ang pangit tingnan? So, Hanggang punta pa siya pinakababa. Walang laman dito. Uh, ay, nako. Designer talaga ng ibang agencies. Kailangan mag-focus sa website. Okay. So, yung problem kong na-encounter dito sa DOH, kasi um, inutusan ako ni Mama mag-login dito sa website kasi tulungan ko siya sa pag-submit ng mga Uh, sa so, nag-work kasi sa DOH, pag-submit ng report dun sa mga tao na na-deworm na. Okay. Or nabakuna. Eh, deworming pala. Na-deworm na. So, nag-login ako dito one time. Okay. For example, this is the username. And I have a password. Yan. Then, yung pag-login ko dyan, clinic ko yung login. Kasi kailangan na. Tapos, Naka ilang beses na akong click ng login. Sabi ko, what's the problem? Bakit hindi siya nakaka-login? Then siga akong isip. So ano ba yung problema ko? Yung sa username ba or sa password? So tapos sabi ko parang tama naman. So, tapos nagano pa ako, nag-troubleshoot pa ako. Siguro sa network to or sa website or siguro big search ko pa kung may problema talaga down siguro yung server ng sa ditong website. So, di ko alam kung ano na yung ayusin ko. Alam nyo kung bakit? Ano nangyari sa akin? Di ba naloka ako? Di ko alam kung anong gagawin ko. Bakit? Ano yung rason? Kasi yung system, yung design niya, hindi nagbibigay ng errors or notif man lang sa akin. Di ba dapat, uh, yung mga tip ka website na kapag mali yung username or password mo, magna-notify sila. Like, ito ngayon sa Shopee. For example, ito. Tapos, ito yung password. Login. So, tingnan mo yung lalabas, your account 
or password is incorrect, please try again. So, notify ako na mali yung username or password ko. So, check ko siya. Diba? Dito, ang nangyari, di ko alam kung mali ba yung password ko or username kasi wala naman na lumalabas. O, oh, diba? Ganito isa sa bad web design. Hindi ka nagbibigay ng uh, message, error message sa user. Parang gusto ko napalitan yung, <laughs> yung system na ito. Ma-apply na lang ako sa DOH. Ako na lang tabi, mag kang website nindo. Tama ka nuso ng website nindo. Parang kapat ako may nataraw. <laughs> Pag ako ba nag assess kay website, pag hindi ko talaga mo yung pangito ng pakakonstruct kang experience kang website, dahil talaga iyan sa ko. So, yun. Next is uh, bad web design. So, syempre, paano mo malalaman na pangit yung web design mo first? kapag mayroon na distracting images and background. So, dapat, yung background color ng website mo, ano lang, minimalist color, or white, light gray, or pwede man pastel. Huwag kayong maglalagay ng bright na color. So, imagine visiting a website with neon colors, sakit sa mata, bright red. <laughs> diba? So, avoid doing that. Non-responsive design, katulad nito, Oh, yan, non-responsive. Um, another is, hindi siya mobile responsive. Ibig sabihin, katulad ng sa Shopee, nung minim minimize ko yung Shopee, dapat, siguro yung product, isang column lang. Hindi yung kailangan mo pa mag-scroll pa right para makita yung product. So, that is non-responsive design. A bad web design. Unclear link and buttons. So, kailangan kapag nag-click ka ng buttons, alam mo kung saan ka pupunta or meron kang previous or back button or meron mga next button. So, generic or irrelevant stock photos and filler text without valuable information. So, make sure you have your own graphics or images that you will put on your website. Yung hindi din na-download sa um, non-copyright stock photos sa internet. Meron pang mga watermark. So, don't do that. So, the last, our last topic is let's differentiate the different types of website. So, isa dito yung gagawin nyo. Gagawin natin this week and next week for your website. So, the first type of website is home pages. So, si home pages, pag sinabing home page, Yan yung main page mo kung saan once sa binisit ng user yung website mo, ito yung pinakaunang pupunta niya or makikita niyang page. Ang tawag sa kanya ay homepage. Meron mga website na homepage lang. Kanya ang malilit na business, hindi naman masyado ganun kadaming uh, pages. So, homepage yung Ginagamit. This is Matcha Carry in the Picture. This is an excellent example of homepage website. You can see that the navigation or menu at the top of the page. So, meron tayong menu dyan. Mas maganda na nasa taas yung menu pag ganitong type of website. Uh, note here, that the navigation of the page sets the tone for what you'll, you'll find on the side. Since the page serves as the beginning of the conversion funnel, visitors can get a coupon or subscribe. Minsan nilalagay dyan sa pinakaunang part or pinakataas ng homepage ay yung pwedeng subscription. Pwede man about uh, your business, like here. Bringing the world's best matcha for you. A link for a video. A link for your store. So, ibig sabihin, itong home pages, hindi to mismo yung e-commerce store mo. Parang home, home page lang. Ito daw home page. Isang page lang kung saan nandyan yung pinaka-basic na information about your business. And you will provide different links. Okay, we also have magazine website. It features articles, photos, and videos that are informational and educational. So, we all know that previously, uh, many years ago, 
yung magazine industry. Nung bata pa kayo, di ba? Mahilig kayo pumunta sa book sale, basa-basa ng magazine. Pero ngayon, bihira na yung uh, hard copy or printed magazine. Tinansform na siya sa digital format. Okay. May tinatawag tayong web, uh, magazine websites. So here, an example is Urban Omnibus, an online magazine website with a fairly traditional magazine layout. This looks like a magazine, but in website form. As you can see, meron sa taas yung title ng magazine, the urban omnibus. Meron na image about that article. We have here a card with the title and short description. Or well, you can also put a link to click the entire article. Parang ganyan yung itsura ng magazine website. Ito na yung pinaka-common na website is e-commerce website. When you say e in e-commerce, e pertains to electronic. So, ibig sabihin, yung business website through electronic na or digital. Yan, kaya tinawag na e-commerce website. This is an online shopping destinations like, ano yung websites kung saan nagsishop kayo? Shopee, Lazada, pa Shopify, Amazon, Salora, and other, okay, Skechers. Yung mga brands or businesses, may sarili silang e-commerce platform. E-commerce tawag doon. So, example here is Plifcart. This sells a wide range of products, which means that there are a lot of items featured on their homepage. Pag sabing e-commerce, nagbebenta dyan. Nagbebenta at bumibili ng products. Yan, kaya nga e-commerce, e-business. Yung blogs naman, it's a type of website with, with um, updated articles, photos, and video. Sinabi natin na blog, hindi lang siya isang article. Kailangan, every week, every month, may bagong article. Ano pagkakaya, ano ibig sabihin ng blog? Saan ba galing yung word na blog? So, it came from web, lag. So, web, W-E-B, yung B, kinuha sa web, tas dinugtungan ng lag, kaya blog. So, pag sinabing blog, website yan na may mga articles. Pag sinabi na, natin na vlog or yung video, ba, yung mga sa YouTube, vlog, as in vulture vlog. So, ito, vlog. Kapag ganito, website siya. Okay? So, it started with more casual, personal content compared to magazines. So, nung kumakikita nyo mga tutorial, di ba, basic tutorial, about ngaya mga top 10, di ba? Nga, the top 10 most creative uh, paintings in the world. So, meron na mga pictures to. Ang mga blogs yon. So, he, however, a blog can also become cumbersome for smaller companies. So, kailangan meron, pag smaller companies kasi, kailangan meron na nagmamanage ng blog mo. Kasi kailangan palagi yan updated. Di man pwede out, outdated yung blog mo. Example dito is Nourish Eats. Um, this keeps things simple and focus on the content on its blog. Instead of using a slider at the top of the page, the site integrates a rotating slider. So, to the right... So, kung dito, imbis mag-scroll kayo, pa-write mong kanyang scrolling. Which goes to the different categories. The sliders keeps the content fresh and engages users. So, user can navigate at any point or use the arrows to go forward or back. But, depende yan. Ako, I'm not a fan of this type of design. So, more, oh, mas maganda yung pag-scroll sa akin. Okay. Kasi ayoko magpindut-pindut. Gusto ko dire-diretso sa kamay. Next, we also have 
uh, portfolio website. So this type of website is what you're going to use for your project in pre-finals. Wherein you will create your own portfolio using website. Diba? When you are applying for a job, minsan hinihingi portfolio nyo. Online a website portfolio nyo. Kung saan yung uh, yung company yon, ikiklik nila, syempre yung nilagay mong site sa yung resume para malaman nila yung mga works mo, your experiences. So, yan yung portfolio website. Bakit mahalaga siya? Kaya nga papagawin ko ngayon, ngayon, para someday, kung mailalagay kayo sa resume, yan, meron kayong perks, additional perks. So, ngayon, si um, Moon Forte ngayon, i-visit ko nga yung portfolio niya. So, palagi nyo dapat i-update yung portfolio nyo. Kunwari ngayon, second year kayo, may ginawa kayong portfolio sa project ko, i-save nyo yung username and password nyo sa ano, GoDaddy, para ma-edit nyo ulit yung laman nitong website in the future. Or may idea ulit kayo. Ma? Pag sinabi natin na portfolio website, so this allows professionals a place for showcasing their best work. So, ang tanong, ano ba ang ilalagay nyo sa portfolio nyo? Una, yung information mo. Siyempre, yung mga ano mo, accomplishment mo. Mga awards mo, mga ginoin mong pwede man pageant, yung mga contest na pag-join mo, educational attainment mo, kung first honor ka, kung ano pa. Then of course, ano yung works mo? Mahilig ka ba sa pagkakanta? So yung design ng portfolio mo, more, meron na mga design-design ng music, kung saan ilalagay mo yung mga nagawa mong kanta. Kung mahilig ka naman sa pagdodrawing, Pwede mo ilagay. Kung variety yung works mo, pwede ka gumawa ng albums. Madami ka ngaya. For example, ito ngaya yung ibang drawings ko, ito yung mga photography ko, pwede yung photography. So, syempre, um, it's up to you kung anong ilalagay mo sa portfolio mo. Siguro, meron pa kayong na-save ng mga pictures. Pwede yung mga ginawa nyo dito sa graphics, ay sa graphic design ko. And i-compile nyo siya, i-save nyo yung mga images, then ilagay nyo sa portfolio nyo. Okay. Kasi i-check ko siya. Okay. So, we also have landing pages. Landing pages. Landing page specific type created for marketing campaign that drives visitor to take a specific action. So, commonly, ang landing pages, isang page lang siya. Okay. Iba siya sa Um, advertisement. Iba man ng advertisement. Minsan mga advertisement, nagluluwas mga card. So, ma-pop up na sana. Ito, page to. Apo dyan, landing page. Where in may tinatawag na CTA or call to action. So, yung call to action, yung ilalagay mo dyan na sentence ay kung ano yung gustong gawin ng user. Kunwari sa Shopify, sell online with Shopify and meron na uh, input box wherein you will type your email address and start a free trial. So, depende din yung CTA. Um, visit nga yung website, gusto niya magkuha ng coupon, o yung mga free trial, or subscribe sa email list, mga landing pages yon. We also have uh, another very common website, the social media website. So, there are approximately 2.77 billion people on social media. Actually, hindi na 2.7. I think 4 billion, 3 to 4 billion na yung, basta ganyan yung reach, 2 to 4 billion na yung tao sa social media. So, ginagamit commonly yung Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or LinkedIn. Pag sinabi natin na social media, It is a platform wherein you can communicate or interact with other people using this website. You can chat, video call, post something. Yeah. Our last uh, website is directory and contact pages. So, dito sa directory, 
So if this is a website wherein you can search or view a list of repository of businesses or people with an organization. For example, a local restaurant directory features features eateries in the area. Ana another example dito is yung directory ng kunya lang yung magta-travel ka. Okay, rest uh, restaurants in Albay. Ta. So restaurant in Albay, meron ditong kunya rito, ang Trip Advisor is a directory website. Yan. So, trip advisor. So, pwede ka mag-search dito. Meron dyan na directory or list ng mga restaurant, mga lugar na pwede mo bisitain sa iba't ibang lugar, like sa Albay. Yan. Dito, meron di bang list? Nag-search ka. Ito yung mga pwede mong kainan. Yan. Mga cafe. Yan yung example ng directory and contact. Pages. Pwede din yung directory ng mga researches or mga published books wherein you can search a specific research title. And pwede mo uh, ma-access yun. Pwede mong ma-download yung, yung research paper na yun. Yan. Like here, example yan, IEEE. So, dito sa IEEE Explore, Wait lang, nag-loading. Yan. This is a directory of researches. Yan. So, you can use this, for example, sa thesis nyo. Kung mapapansin nyo, pinakaunang makikita nyo sa ganitong website is search. Pwede ako mag-search ng about um, ano ba? Cryptography. Ayan. Yung pag-search ko, nalabas in a list, kaya nga tinawag siya ng directory list. Yan yung mga list ng mga researches na about sa cryptography. Okay. Yan, makikita mo yan. So, example po yan ng directory and contact pages. Okay, so this will be the end of our discussion for today. Madali lang, di ba? So an overview of website importance, different types of website. For our next lesson, so Thursday, I'm gonna discuss to you uh, portfolio wherein you can you will create a portfolio website. Yeah. So don't worry if you don't don't have a laptop. Um, you can create a website using phone. Basta meron lang kayong internet connection. And na-save nyo na sa phone nyo yung mga images na ilalagay nyo. Make sure na i-compress nyo siya. Yung limit dyan, siguro dapat hindi magsobra sa 2 megabytes. Ang laki na nga ng 2 megabytes kada picture. Meron dyan na mga application na download na mag-compress ng image pero hindi ma 